Hi there, it's Samantha here from Using Technology Better and in this video I'm going to show you how to do an inbox spring clean in Outlook for Mac. So first things first, why might you need an inbox spring clean? Well an inbox spring clean is designed to help you get rid of all that clutter that might have built up in your inbox. If you Particularly if you get a lot of emails, perhaps you don't do a lot of filing and over time you just get so many emails in your inbox that it can be quite overwhelming. And typically you know this is you because you just start scrolling and it just keeps going and going and going and you can never find the bottom. Um, another way to determine if you need a spring clean is actually to check out what the oldest email in your inbox is. And you can do that by coming up here to the date received column and just clicking on it so the arrow points in the upward direction and then you can see what your oldest email is. So you scroll to the top and you'll see my oldest ones from 2016. So yeah, I probably need a bit of a spring clean. So to get started with your spring clean, first of all, make sure you are in your inbox. Then come up to the search bar in the top right corner and then make sure that current folder is selected because that will mean we're just gonna search in the inbox, which is what we wanna do. Then come over here to where it says date received. Now, because you know what your oldest email is, we can use this date received option to start doing year-based spring cleaning. Now, I think year-based spring cleaning is the best way to go because if you've got many thousands or tens of thousands of emails in your inbox, it can actually not work out so well doing a spring clean of them all at once. So we'll do years chunk by chunk. So. Given that we know the oldest one, we can now go to the date receive button and we're going to say after. And that's going to add a little search criteria box up here. Now we actually need two because we want to search between date range, so after a date and before a date. So then if you come over to the right hand side here and click this little plus, it's going to add another one of these lines. I'm going to come over and change that again to date received and then I'm going to put that as before. And now I can come and put my dates in. So let's imagine we want to spring clean for everything in 2017 or let's, let's do 2018 just because it's a little bit more current. Hey, let's start with that. So let's do, if it was 2018, so therefore what we would want to do is everything after the 31st of the 12th, 2017. And you'll notice that I actually did 12 before I did 31 because if uh, it was on 11 in my case and there was only 30 days in November, so it wouldn't let me put the 31 in. So you just might have to be careful how you're doing that. So that would be everything after the 31st of December 2017 and then I want everything before the 1st of the 1st 2019 and that would be then everything in 2018. And you'll see instantly it does that search for you and it's got them all in there. So that's super, super quick. So now what do we do? Okay, so the idea is that we want to get them out of the inbox. And Outlook has a great feature called Archive that will do that for you. So on your Home tab, you will find there is a button called Archive. And basically all Archive does is get the emails out of the inbox. So if you don't have time to file them away into folders, um, which if you need an inbox screen, a spring clean, probably suggests that you don't have time to do that, archiving is great because it keeps the inbox clear, but it's not um, time consuming. Now where they go once you archive them is to this archive folder on the left here. Now you'll um, see I've actually even archived some folders under there, but that, that's for another day. Um, if you don't see this folder, don't panic. It just means that you haven't archived anything yet. So if you haven't archived something, the first time you do it, it will then prompt you to create the folder. Okay, now we don't want to archive these one-on-one. -on -one. We want to do them in mass. So how to um, how to do that is just use your, so click on an email and then, so it's blue, and then click Command A on your keyboard and it will select all of them. And then you can come up and click the archive button and that will be job done. They'll all be out of the inbox in the archive folder. And if you then repeat those steps for every year from your oldest year back to the current year, um, if it's like it is now I'm recording this video is in November, you might even want to do it for the first half of the current year. So you can change the dates around depending on what suits you. So there you go. I hope those steps help you clear out your inbox. Thanks for watching.